your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. As if nothing is sacred in the auto world, in 1998, the prestigious English Bentley brand was purchased by Germany's Volkswagen. As you can imagine, this caused quite a stir, with many predicting that future Bentleys would have none of the brand's uniquely English character. Well, the first Bentley model designed under VW stewardship is here. It's the 2004 Continental GT, the car that will finally answer the question, can the Bugs Builder also build a Bentley? Right from the start, Volkswagen sought to calm the tempers of Bentley loyalists. Rather than move production to Germany, as many had feared, VW invested heavily in modernizing the existing production facility in Crewe, England, that Bentley long shared as a junior partner to Rolls-Royce. With Rolls moving to a new factory built by its new owner, BMW, there was plenty of room for the first truly unique Bentley in 70 years. And the creation of the Continental GT was then left in the hands of Bentley's own designers. Germany provided engineering assistance and plenty of proven components, but not character-altering advice. The resulting Continental GT is a grand touring coupe that is unmistakably Bentley, but also the most aerodynamic road car to ever wear F. Gordon Crosby's famous winged bee badge. From any angle, the Continental GT is all Bentley, a stunning blend of racing heritage aggression with remarkable grace. These long, sensuous lines are carried on an all-new chassis with an ample 108-inch wheelbase. The chassis rides on a double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension with progressive air springs, adjustable shocks, stability control, ABS, and brake assist and meets the road by way of gorgeous standard 19-inch nine-spoke alloys. But this stunning winged V is powered by a very German engine. It's a twin-turbo version of the Volkswagen Phaeton's innovative W12. It boasts 552 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque from six liters of force-fed displacement. That power pumps to all four wheels, that's right, all four, through a new ZF six-speed sequential automatic gearbox with a manual shift mode that uses paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. And we'll launch the 5,258-pound Continental GT to 60 in only 4.7 seconds. Our first drive along the beautiful roads of southern Spain was exhilarating, even as sanity kept us far from the GT's 200 mile per hour top speed. The W12 engine produces stunning levels of power at any point on the rev band and does so with levels of refinement which match both Bentley luxury and German engineering traditions. This superb engine allows you to quickly eat up serious highway miles with only the rapidly descending needle on the fuel gauge calling out for you to stop. On twistier pavement, like that of the Ascari racetrack, the big Bentley really shows its weight. Understeer is strong on quarter entry, but the high traction levels of the all-wheel drive system with its torque sensing center differential allow you to easily drive through it. The body is very stiff and cornering lean is minimal thanks to the suspension's active computer controls. The speed sensitive steering lacks feel but still responds in a precise progressive fashion. The overall feel is soft but never flabby, luxurious but not old. It's an incredibly solid package that confidently walks the fine line between English plush and Teutonic firm. Inside, however, the Continental GT is all British. The opulent 2 plus 2 interior is awash in fine wood and leather. The instrument panel forgoes the classic flat Bentley style for the semi-wraparound look of the late 20th century with a center stack and appropriately two wings. The layout is both intelligent and efficient with precision operated controls now cited more for usability than style. This smart opulence also includes a high safety quotient with side and head curtain airbag standard. The broad front bucket seats with integrated seat belts are covered in thick Scandinavian leather with a wide range of power adjustments and exceptional comfort and support. The rear seats are just as comfortable, though the space that they occupy is naturally a bit short on head and legroom. But with 13 cubic feet of space, the trunk will easily swallow an affluent overpacker's weekend luggage. 
And while you must certainly be well off to afford a Continental GT, you need not be among the truly filthy rich. Base price is a bargain for a hand-built car, $149,990. It's part of Bentley's drive to expand its customer base beyond sheiks and lords. Even a hard-working little pop star like Britney Spears can now afford the winged bee. But if Brit does lay out 150 large, she'll get a grand touring coupe that offers all the Volkswagen Group's best German engineering, but is still as British as high tea at Buckingham Palace. So, can Volkswagen build a Bentley? Well, they didn't have to. But with their assistance, the designers, engineers, and workers at Crew have built a remarkable motor car, and perhaps the best Bentley ever.